world's largest sausage is on the move. Operation Distract Nasha is go! <coughs> Nasha's going to love this! Temptation, like the world's largest sausage, demands a big distraction. <laughs> My garden! What with that reprobate Nasher at large? Don't you worry, Walter. I told Dennis that if Nasher so much as touches that giant sausage, it's the kennels for good. Oh, excellent policing. Indeed. Fun but fair. Claudius! Oh, oh. I did this to you. Um, Walter? <laughs> Sergeant Slipper, do something! Sorry, never said anything about normal-sized sausages, which are very, very tasty, I might add. <laughs> ah, thanks, Walter. I couldn't have come up with a better distraction myself. Oh, Dennis! You won't get away with this! Oh! Oh! oh. <laughs> As I was saying, you won't get away with the... Uh, mm. <laughs> nice. huh. Hey, Butch, I just spoke to Chomp. They're sending their top man. I can't believe it. Chomp! The coordinated headquarters for official meat products are coming to judge my little old sausage. This little old sausage will put Beano Town on the map. Huh? Ah! Ah! Who, who elbows me? <laughs> Is everything okay? No. There's a massive bite! Yes, yes! Everything's fine! <laughs> oh, yes, that's... that's right! Everything is fine! I don't understand! Who could have gotten through the lasers? Wait a minute! This looks like an animal bite! Hmm... An agile animal with an insatiable appetite for sausages and the biggest jaws in Beano Town. But who? No, nope, I've got nothing. Uh, it's Nasha, obviously. Wait a minute. I've got it. It's Nasha, of course. Ah, oh, give me strength. <laughs> Didn't get your fill last night, eh, Nasha? Huh? Hey, what are you doing? Nasha is under arrest for biting Butch's giant sausage. One bite? There's no way it was Nasha then. He would have eaten the whole thing. Good thing he didn't. That's a potentially record-breaking sausage. Nash! Don't worry, Nasha. We'll have you out in no time. Meet me at the treehouse and bring your best moustache. One bite? No way that was Nasha. There'd be nothing left. Not to mention he was with me the whole night. Which can only mean one thing. <laughs> Nasha has an evil twin, like Paul. Oh, Nasha's been set up. And we're going to find out by who. Curly, how much do you know about the coordinated headquarters for official meat products? Ah, uh, sorry, Mr. Man. We're not open to the public yet. C-H-O-M-P, Inspector. That's quite a sausage. Your service. <laughs> Step this way, gentlemen. We have some paperwork to fill in. Psst. Take a swab. Oh, 
Bob. <laughs> Time for Operation Bog. But I went before we left home. That's B-O-G. Bust out, Nasha. Oh, phew. <laughs> And then, of course, there was that huge brat verse from Bavaria. Underpants. Scramble. Uh oh. Underpants. Oh, but I only got two pairs. Come on, Piper, it's underpants. <laughs> Okay, Nasha, this is the scent of the record breaking sausage. Find the missing piece and we find the culprit. Mr. Mayor, sir, this gentleman says he's from Chomp. Hear about the record. Lucky us, eh? Two in one day. Uh-oh. Come back here, you! Uh-oh! Nasha, unleash the please! <laughs> nice one, Nasha. Now, we flee! Hello, hello, Slipper! Yeah, uh, it's me! Nasha, got away! Nasha! <laughs> <laughs> Walter! Of course it's Walter! It's always Walter! Hmm. Dennis! I thought that mutt of yours was locked up! Stop right there, Dennis! <laughs> oh, well done, Sergeant Slipper! Seize the giant sausage biter and his rascal of an owner immediately! Hang on! How does he know about the sausage being bitten? Oh. Yes, Walter. How do you know? <laughs> well, I mean, I just put two and two together. Uh, giant sausage, <laughs> and Nasher on the loose. It's obvious. Run, Claudius. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> hey, I just shampooed the carpet. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Nice try, Walter. What? It's not inconceivable that he acted alone, is it? OK, fine. I may have helped a little. Sorry, Nasha. As for you, Claudius, you're off to the kennel for a night. But... but there is no kennel for cats in Beano Town. I know! <laughs> Too bad Curly's a good singer. Curly! <laughs> You can drop the act now. Uh, huh? Yeah, good thing they sent you out from HQ to help with the measuring. Not sure how I would have handled this on my own. <laughs> right. <laughs> Ooh, just a few millimetres off. Sorry, folks. Record remains. Well, I want you the record. Oh. <laughs> oh, man. Why? Why? Hang on. I'll give you a record. Got a stopwatch? Oh, well. <laughs> Unbelievable! We have a new giant sausage speed eating world record! <laughs> well done, Dennis! Your dog has put Beano Town on the map! <laughs> Oh, oh, that's disgusting. Mop boy, clean up on stage. <laughs> I mean, really, what sort of a mongrel are you anyway? Tripound! 
That's not even a real breed. Nobody knows what tripe is anymore. A freak. That's what you are. And furthermore, what kind of a dog shaves his legs? Uh, you don't, do you? Nash. And that smell. I'd offer my trademark derisory snort if I didn't think the intake of air might render me comatose. Huh? Lost me at derisory. And as for those supposedly world-class gnashing abilities of yours, know what I say? All took. Huh? Walter, what are you doing? <laughs> gotcha. Military-grade gnash-proof titanium boxer shorts. Freshly delivered from worldofunderpants.com. I may just have to risk a derisory snort here. Henceforth, I shall walk the streets of Beano Town unafraid, confident that my nether regions are safe at last from the... <laughs> Some people never learn. And due to the lamentably substandard nature of this product, I will now not be recommending World of Underpants forward slash 100% anti proofcom and intend to look elsewhere for a more reliable supplier of armoured underwear. I expect a full and immediate refund and send. Hello, Walter. We got your email. <gasps> there! That's where it happened. And you say a dog did this? Yes, a dog. Look, whatever I said about World of Underpants forward slash 100% anti proofcom I really am most impressed with your complaints procedure, but... Can... <laughs> You're not from World of Underpants.com, are you? Son, we're gonna need your help. <laughs> Walter, seriously? Is this some kind of life is pain emo thing? Because <laughs> other types of music are available, you know. <laughs> what? What just happened? Walter, who was in that van? Who? I'll tell you who. MI13, the top secret government spy organization. But what would they want with Nasha? Apparently that ghastly mutt of yours has been deemed a threat to national security and you are never going to see him again. <laughs> can one look triumphant dressed as a sausage? I think one can. <laughs> Please, there's got to be some way to find out where it is. <laughs> ah, sorry, Dennis. Says here the address of MI-13's Beano Town branch is known only to local military personnel. Well, that's no good. We don't know any... Ah. Hey. <laughs> sorry, chaps. Earwax. The silent enemy. Where did you say you were from again? MI-13, Beano Town branch. Uh, we just popped out to the shops for some biscuits. Uh, yeah, and the place is so secret, we forgot how to get back. You couldn't give us directions? Of course, it's... Hang on, how do I know you're who you say you are? Ah, because of all the cool spy stuff we have. Such as? Um, walkie-talkie trainers. <laughs> <laughs> Agent D to Agent C, come in, please. Do you read me? Over. <sighs> Reading you loud and clear, Agent D. Over. <gasps> wow, that's amazing. Then there's these. Black Ops Cola Cubes. One suck and the enemy's out for the count. Observe. <laughs> My word, impressive. Sorry I doubted you. All right, listen carefully. <laughs> This'll be the place, then. Weird how we've never noticed it before. Yes? Am I 13? No. Can I have my dog back, please? <laughs> OK. They had their chance. One sausage ought to do it. Curly. <laughs> now all we have to do is wait. Works every time. Okay, that was 
unexpected. We call it the Nashinator. It's a prototype superweapon made from cloned Nasher teeth. What? Where's Nasher? He's being debriefed at our other, even more secret base. But now, thanks to you, there's an out-of-control Nashinator on the loose. So? Go get it back! Uh, we can't. We're, um, we're stuck. In gnashing its way out, it crippled security and jammed the exits. Yeah? Well, I hope it ate your spy socks and weed on your spy carpet, too. Actually, it did. So, here's the deal, kid. You will get Nasher back on one condition. That you keep the Nashinator out of trouble until backup arrives. Hang on. Is this, like, a mission? Because, seriously, if you do have Black Ops Coal Cubes, they would be... Go! But beware. The Nashinator was created for one purpose and one purpose alone. To seek out and gnash the enemy. And unfortunately, it seems to have developed certain natural dislikes. What do you mean? And I now declare the Beano Town Annual Postman's Convention open! <laughs> okay, people, listen up. We're working for MI13, and we need you to evacuate the building right away, because there's an unstoppable set of robot teeth coming to gnash you. <laughs> <laughs> Good one, Dennis. <laughs> <laughs> Covered. Oh, figures. Okay. Well, we just wait till backup arrives, right? Hi, Elbow. Pie face. Not helping. Sorry, Dennis. <laughs> okay, folks. We're down to our last sausage. We're gonna have to make a run for it. After three. One. <laughs> Nasha! Yes! Go get him, boy! Back off, Robo Chops. Final warning. I got butternut squash here. Ouch! Curly, the aubergines. <laughs> of property, possession of a dangerous weapon. Dennis, do you never learn? Huh? <laughs> hey, Robo Chops! <laughs> Look who's here! <laughs> <laughs> them anyway. <laughs> so yes, you may rest assured that Project Nationator has now been officially mothballed and the Nationator itself disposed of. You haven't just stuck it in a giant warehouse full of wooden boxes then? No. Still, there has been one good thing come out of this. Yeah? What's that? Our detailed studies of Nash's teeth have helped us develop these. MI-13's new armored field trousers. Now scientifically proven to be completely 100% Nash proof. Nash, Nash? Ah! Ah! Okay! Okay! 74% Nash proof!
beautiful Beano Town morning. I can't wait to get to school and hand in my homework. It's not going to fuck! <laughs> <laughs> There's only one thing for it, even if it means sacrificing my homework. <laughs> and that's why I don't have my homework. Bravo! Wonderful, wonderful. Oh, don't clap. Dennis is clearly lying. Yes, but with such verve and imagination. This is Mr. Blake Midwinter. He's an actor from the television. Oh. Oh. Uh -huh. Yes, little boy. You may have seen my acclaimed performance as a man in park in that crisps commercial. <clears throat> Nay, squirrel, these are not for you to nibble on. End of scene. Mr. Midwinter is going to help us with this year's school play. That's right. Thank you, Mrs. C. I'll take it from here. We're doing Jack and the Beanstalk. And I do believe we've already found our Jack. <gasps> um, surely the lead role should go to someone artistic? Exactly. And Dennis here clearly has a wild flair for dramatic improvisation. I have what now? He says you have wild hair for drastic improvement. Hey! I'm not brushing my hair for anyone. Sorry, Mr Midwinter, but I'm out. Oh, sadness. No, your words strike like arrows at my heart. <sighs> oh, well, the show must go on. Auditions are tomorrow lunchtime. But I must warn you, the rehearsals will be very demanding and mean missing a lot of lessons. Miss lessons? Wait! I'm in again! Huzzah! A star is born! Like you said, the show must go on! There are still plenty of parts to audition for, and Headmaster Detesta has very kindly insisted on helping me choose the rest of the cast. Next, we have Angel Face Detesta reading for the princess. Oh no! Here comes the giant! Jack, look out! Bravo! Oh, beautiful! Such poise, such grace, a perfect princess. I don't believe we need to see anyone else for the role. Thanks, Dad. Okay, everybody, let's rehearse. Curly and Pie Face are the giant. Angel Face is the princess, Walter is the bean seller, and Dennis is our fearless Jack. Please, no autographs. <laughs> Now, in this extremely moving scene, Jack is with one of the most important characters in the play. The bean seller! No, no. I mean Jack's cow. But who should play the cow? Who should play the cow? Come on, come on. You both look marvelous in that costume. This isn't even a cow. It's a horse. Yes, but the magic of theater will make the audience believe it's a cow. I'm not doing it. Oh, oh there's a funny smell in there. Ah, oh, yes, that may be me. It's uh, Cabbage Thursday in the canteen, you see. I've got a much better idea than that moldy old costume. Presenting Jack's cow. The dog can't play a cow. It's genius. Oh yes, it's even better than a horse. It's playful yet surprising. It's very, it's very now. I love it. Okay, let's get the bean seller scene out of the way, and then we can move on to the big romantic finale where Jack kisses. The princess. Right, I'll just... Hang on. That sounded like you said something about kissing. Oh, dear, Dennis. Uh, haven't you read the script? Page 30, Jack gives the princess a big kiss. In front of the whole school. Kiss a girl? Yeah. Angel face, you don't want to kiss me. I haven't had a bath in a week. Of course I don't want to kiss 
you. But the Beano Town Gazette are sending a photographer. And if kissing you gets my picture on the front page, then I'll do it. And scrub my mouth afterwards. <laughs> Everyone will see Dennis the Menace smooching the headmaster's daughter. <laughs> Um, Mr Midwinter, I I'm having second thoughts about the play. And third thoughts, too. And they're both... Well, of course I can't force you to do the play, Dennis. Oh, I knew you'd understand. But if you do drop out, I'll make sure you get double all the lessons you've missed. So, what do we say? The show must go on. Dennis, what are you going to do? If you oh, kiss a girl in front of everyone, you'll never live it down. I know, but Mr Midwinter won't let me give up the play. <sighs> ah, but it wouldn't be my fault if he kicked me out, would it? Morning, everyone. Places, please. From the top of Act Two, a jack climbs the beanstalk and sees the giant. Look. The beans have grown into a huge beanstalk. I told you they were magic. Thank you, kind bean seller. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and don't forget to feed my cow. He must be hungry. Three, five, four, four. I smell the blood of. <gasps> I'll defeat you. Stop! Sorry, Mr. Midwinter, but I totally understand if you don't want me in the play anymore, so I'll just get going. What are you talking about? That was brilliant! So raw, so spontaneous, so, so in the moment! You know, you remind me of a young me! <gasps> okay, now let's try the kissing scene. <laughs> what? <laughs> of course! Thanks, Nasha! Okay! Hook her up, Angel Face! <laughs> oh, sorry! Uh, just coming down with a bit of a cold! <laughs> oh, keep your jabs to yourself! I need to look my best for the paparazzi. Oh, no. Well, we don't want anyone getting sick before opening night. Maybe we should skip the kissing scene for now. <laughs> Good old face snot. That should keep me kiss free till this is all over. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Jack and the Beanstalk. Adapted, choreographed, designed, and directed by uh, your humble servant, Blake Midwinter. Yo, look. It's Man in Park from that crisp commercial. <laughs> Make sure you get a good shot of the most talented actress, my daughter. Jack, a humble farmer boy, taking my cow to market. Nash, move! I'll buy your cow for these magic beans. I think I've had too many beans already. <laughs> <laughs> right, just the kissing scene to go. Time for the fake snot. <laughs> oh, um, we're looking for this. <laughs> now you'll have to kiss Angel Face. <laughs> oh, only one thing for it. You mean? Yes, Curly. Operation Blackout. <gasps> no, not Operation Blackout. What is Operation Blackout? Well, Operation Blackout. <laughs> oh, hurry up, Dennis. Come on, Pyface. <laughs> Time for our big scene and for me to get my picture in the paper. Mm -hmm. You defeated the giant and won the heart of a princess. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Curly. Don't let me down. <laughs> Oi! <laughs> oh, no, you don't. I escaped the kiss of shame. Angel Face got her picture in the paper. And we got out of lessons. I'd say the play was a big hit. <laughs> Just not the kind Mr Midwinter wanted. Ah, hey. Oh, 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 this is oh, 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 I bet he wishes the show hadn't gone on after all. That's showbiz. No, 
That's Medispin! <laughs> <laughs>